you want cheap and reliable rockley guys so make sure you check out the first link in the description this logo they sell everything from crates to keys to cars and also send me a picture of you using my code at the checkout and you'll get a shout out in my next video use code zach for a six percent discount what is up guys Zach Plays here and today I'm going to bring you guys another Rocket League video and as you can probably tell from the title today I'm going to speak about some things that I do not like about Rocket League as much and I got this video idea from a YouTuber called Cable so I'll leave his channel in the description he has a load of awesome content on his channel but anyway guys what's going to be happening in this video is we're going to be listing some of the stuff and speaking about some of the stuff that isn't so good in, in this game called Rocket League guys but anyway guys if you do want to see more videos like this make sure you drop a like on the video if we could try and smash 500 likes in this video then i'll do a part two on this i'll bring you guys another video on this but anyway guys without further ado i'm gonna get straight into this video all right guys i think this is something we can all relate with the first thing i'm going to be speaking about is demolitions basically a demo is where someone drives really really fast into and it'll make your car explode and then you have a respawn time so it takes like three seconds for you to respawn so that gives the opponent enough time to either save the shot they were about to score or score in your own net this is really really annoying that can frustrate people so so much because it's like nothing you can do about it you could jump over it but then that also like leaves you in a disadvantage and in my opinion it, it can be used in a lot of skill like it can be used tactically but a lot of the time it is aids all right guys number two i think a lot of you will relate to this but not all of you because i know there's some people <coughs> Pick a pixel that love this game mode. It's called Rumble, guys. A rumble is basically every like 10 seconds you get a power up that, that you either get like aimbot or aids. You can either like give people up. There's so many different things that you can get, like spikes where you can literally just get the ball, like it, it, it locks onto your car and you just drive into the goal. There's no stopping you guys and you just go into the goal. But Rumble isn't my kind of game mode. It seems like it's very much luck based, and I prefer game that you can like win every time the games are more skill based but it is fun to play with your friends but it is really annoying when you're wagering your whole inventory but anyway guys for the reason that is very much luck based and can be very triggering because if the other person if your opponent gets a power up like spikes it's pretty much over for you you, can, you go like three games without getting spikes guys which is bad it's bad so it's very much luck based which i do not like too much and i know a lot of you will love this game mode but it's, it's, it's just not for me. All right, guys, number three, I'm sure most of you can relate with, because number three is probably, if not the most annoying thing on this list, it's definitely up there. And this is solo queuing. So basically, guys, in ranked games, you can solo queue and you get like a random teammate. And you kind of pray the good, but most of the time, they can barely hit the ball. And when they do hit the ball, it's usually in your own net. And guys, this usually happens around like a platinum rank, but sometimes it even happens in like ranks up to diamond and champion you just always have a teammate that doesn't know where he is you just lost and guys this is really really annoying because they can ruin your rank even though they're trying the best it is extremely annoying that you lose your rank because of someone else that's why i prefer to play 1v1s because it's like it's only down to you can't blame on anyone else but guys yes that is one of the most annoying things for me some of the people you get solo queued with you would honestly wonder whether they're playing with their hands or their feet guys it is really really bad some of the people don't have any idea what they're doing and that is why it's one of the most annoying all right guys the next one is boost like you get loads of different kind of boosts like you can get a rainbow boost you can you can get boosts out of crates but there's some boosts like the jizz boost which is just horrible like when you're trying to play the game and you're driving behind someone who's squirting freaking whatever that is in your face it's really hard to see and the sound is just it's disgusting you just don't want to hear it in a game and it can be extremely annoying and i know a lot of people like neat mike like to abuse that which really annoys me but i know a lot of people can see the funny side of it and so can i when i'm not being scored on all right guys the fifth one is car noises i didn't think i had this like enabled or have it on any of my cars and some of the cars sound so so dumb like listen to the guy i have on screen right now You cannot tell me, guys, that that does not sound like your washing machine. Put, put, I'm going to put up the sound of a washing machine next to the sound of that car and tell me if you can tell the difference. If listening to your washing machine 
doesn't annoy you, then I don't know what does, because that is just, that, that is one of the most annoying things in the game. Okay, guys, number six, I think loads of you can relate with, and I mean a ton of you, which is scammers. There's loads of scammers across the community that like to do, like, pretend they can duplicate or just say they'll borrow an item and stuff and then take your items. There's loads of different ways that people can scam you, and I don't know how losing your items can be fun. And there's loads and loads of them out here in this community, so it's really hard not to get scammed. I think most of you guys have been scammed. I know I've certainly been scammed before, and a lot of you guys tell me in your comments you be scammed. Do not believe anyone that says they can either duplicate. Don't let anyone borrow your items unless you know for sure that they'll give them back. And yeah, th that has got to annoy you guys. All right, guys, the last one has to relate with you guys. This one is the map. Guys, if you get a bad map such as Starbase Arc, you know you're all going to leave the game. The second I get into the game and see it Starbase Arc, it doesn't matter if it's a ranked game. It doesn't matter if um, it's it for like freestyling. I will leave the game straight away, guys. And there's so many stupid maps in competitive. Like, they took out Neo Tokyo because I, I don't know why that map was added in. It had, like, curves and stuff. But they still decide to leave Starbase Arc in it. Like, why? Why would you do that? And some maps, like Wastelands, it's like the, the sides go up like a... Like a like a ramp slowly they slowly go up and the bounces are really weird i don't know why they wouldn't just keep the maps the same and like in tournaments they usually just play on the same map but in competitive you still have it in it doesn't make sense to me guys but that is one of the most annoying things if not the most annoying thing for me in the game but anyway guys that is going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like make sure to tell me the most annoying thing out of all of these in the video guys what was the one that annoys you the most uh, if i haven't put it in this tell me what is annoys you the most maybe i could put it in my part two if we do do that but anyway guys make sure to drop a like on the video if you smash 500 likes that'd be awesome and that's gonna be it for this video i will see all you awesome people